Sergio Reguilon. Nobody really cared who he was a few days ago, but now United fans are excited by the idea that maybe he'll be following Donny van der Beek to Old Trafford after reports emerged from Spain that United had submitted a bid for him. So what are the latest updates on Regulon to United? I'll give you them from Spain, from Fabrizio Romano and from Regulon himself. So make sure you watch the full video. Before I begin, come on, get on that Discord channel if you're not on there. Launched it a couple of days ago. It's already over 700 of us on that channel. Loads of United conversation, loads of good reds on there. So make sure you come over, get involved. It's good fun. But let's talk about Sergio Regulon and where these rumours are coming from. Now, we covered the Regulon rumours in full over on the People's Person website last night. But because I'm nice, I'm going to bring it to you in video format as well. So where did they all begin? They started with AS in Spain, where Zinedine Mazan was saying that he was going to stick behind Marcelo and Mendy for left back, which means that Regulon is not needed. They also went on to say that Sevilla were interested in re-signing him and that Manchester United had submitted an offer for him. Sort of snuck that in at the end of the story. Then we look over to Sport in Spain. Now they are saying that United had put in a bid for 30 million euros. And that's where the idea of this buyback clause was put in. The idea that United could sign him from Real Madrid, but Real Madrid wanted that buyback clause. Basically because they could see that he was that good a player but they couldn't put him in a team ahead of Marcelo or Mendy. So they wanted that buyback clause just because it will become mint somewhere else. And then we want him back at that point. That's why that clause would exist. But that's where the reports came from in Spain, from AS and from Sport. But the reports changed a little bit the following day from local Sevilla outlet ABC News. They're saying that Regulon was on the market and that if Madrid receive a good offer, he will be transferred with 25% of rights in the event of a future transfer and with the right of first refusal. They say that Juventus and Sevilla both want him and they say that United can offer 30 million for Regulon rather than have offered 30 million. So if you go from the day before where the bid has gone in from United to the next day, it's sort of it's reversed a little bit in the news but still very much United talk of the town when it comes to Regulon. So that's interesting enough. And there's an update from the big man himself, Fabrizio Romano. But before I get into that, a quick shout out to our sponsors. The 2021 season countdown is brought to you by Odds Checker, your one-stop betting hub. You know by now Odds Checker is sponsoring the season countdown here on United People's TV for the 2021 season. And that game against Palace really is coming fast. Less than a, is it, about a couple of weeks away until we play Palace to kick off the Premier League season. Odds checker, if you want to go over there, it's your one-stop betting hub. All the bookies in one place. You can get around 17-2 to two on United to win 3-0 if you're feeling confident. Maybe Van der Beek with a debut goal. There's a link in the description. It's free to download, so make sure you head over there and download that. It will help United People's TV, so therefore it will help you. But let's get back to talking about Regulon. Let's talk about Fabrizio, the man himself. He's saying, well, he was asked on Twitter, any news on Regulon? He said, not advanced yet with Man United. He's been proposed to many clubs. Now, that's the sort of thing that we're getting here. It feels like United's name is one of a number of names that's been thrown out to the press. We're seeing Juventus. We're seeing Manchester United. We're seeing Sevilla, where he spent last year on loan and impressed so well. So at this stage, it looks like United are one of a number of clubs rather than being the only club interested in making a move for him. And that's understandable because the 23-year-old enjoyed a very good year at Sevilla that culminated with Sevilla winning the Europa League and knocking United out in the semi-final. Now, Marsa, they're saying that he's been linked with another Sevilla loan, not really mentioning United. And then you've got Francesco Porzio, who is part of Di Marzio's staff. He's saying that nothing is advanced at the moment, just talks for now. So United are in talks or talking to his agents and I think Mikhail Silvestre is part of the representation for him. That's an interesting angle. Van der Sar worked with Van der Beek. Not sure Mikhail Silvestre can be held in the same regard. But links to United all the same. And then Regulon, he's also spoken about his future. He's saying, I don't even know where I'm going to play next season. I have no idea. I will assess all the options that we have on the table. Now, one thing is for sure is that he won't be short of offers because at 23, he's young, he's up and coming, but already very established. Clearly, left back for me is a weak point of United. I say a weak point because when Luke Shaw was injured, we were just all over the shop there. 
We don't have the natural width there and we need it because Rashford cuts inside, because Greenwood cuts inside. And unless we sign Sancho, we won't really have a right winger who's capable of going on the outside of a fullback. And wan Bissaka doesn't really do that yet. And the same can be said on the left-hand side. Rashford is far more naturally inclined to go inside and Luke Shaw doesn't overlap enough. And Brandon Williams certainly doesn't overlap enough. So fullbacks are a weakness for United, period. So you can understand if Solskjaer wants to strengthen there and 30 million, that's a fair price for a left back who could transform the shape of the team. And the fullbacks really do transform the shape of United's team when they're both playing well. Now, agent Dave, maybe he's doing a job after Spain's game in the Nations League. He's there pitching with Regulon, probably a little word in his ear. Why not, Dave? Do your job off the pitch. Sometimes you do a job on the pitch. Hopefully, maybe we'll see that next season or maybe we'll see Henderson there between the sticks. But Regulon is not a name that we thought was going to crop up, but it's cropped up. United, we need a right winger. We know that. We need a centre-back. We know that. And arguably, we could do with a full-back. And that's the big thing. Maybe you could see you could see Regulon coming in. Dalot being moved on because clearly when Fosu Mensah was played ahead of him last season, despite both being fit and Fosu Mensah not playing for like hundreds of days Solskjaer chose Fosu Mensah ahead of Delot, and for me, that was a sort of final nail in the coffin for Delot. I don't think that Solskjaer trusts him, so maybe Delot will get moved on. Brandon Williams will get switched to right back, and then you bring Regulon in at left back for competition with Luke Shaw. Maybe that would improve United's squad. But that is the rumour at the moment. Clearly, United are interested, at least in Regulon. But so Juventus, so Sevilla, so will many clubs be interested in signing what is a very good left back? And in the modern game, fullbacks are so important that players like this that become available, there'll be plenty of clubs that are interested in. But at this moment, it feels like it's just interest that United are one of a number of clubs linked with a move for him rather than United aggressively going after him like we did with Van der Beek. And it took 48 hours to sign him. But let me know what you think about these links below. As I said earlier in the video, Big shout out to Odds Checker for sponsoring our season countdown, the 2021 season. Your one stop betting hub. Head over there. All the bookies in one place. Get your odds for the up for the Palace game. If you're 3 0, 2 0, 1 0, 5 0, head over there. You'll get the odds for it. There's a link in the description free to download. But let me know what you think about the Regulon rumours. <laughs> <laughs>